Howdy all, this is Slice of the Moon Cooking. Today I'm going to make a little additive for your coffee, get you go up and going in the morning. So why don't we get right to it? Thank you for watching. Howdy all, welcome to Slice of the Moon Cooking. Well, I'm not outside in the field right now because I'm doing some prep cooking right now. So when I head out, I have everything ready. I haven't made a good cooking video in a while because I've been trying to research my recipes, get them fine-tuned a little bit better, been doing some work around the farm, getting everything set up kind of nice. One of the recipes I've been working on is what I call coffee boosting. Now what you need for all this would be small two cup jar. Now I'm using half and half because I like to work my way up, but if you want, you can skip to the end product and use butter. Vanilla, brown sugar, cocoa powder, and some non-fat dry milk. So like I said, I'm going to use one quart of this whipping cream right here. We need to whip it up into nice butter. So let's start that up right now. Lock that down. We're going to add our great whipping cream right here. And one of the, my tricks that I use is to grab some saran wrap and I wrap the, the mixer so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Let's go do that real quick. That's a long piece. Nice saran wrap. Start here at the bowl. Pull it all the way up. Work around the bowl real quick. Tucking it right behind, around the bowl, all around this way, there we go. It doesn't have to be tight tight, but it just needs to be well enough that it will keep all the splashing down. Hold on medium for a little bit, get the bubbles started working, and once it starts foaming up a little bit, then you can kick it to high. So let this run for about a minute at this speed. Now at this point, you want to kick it to high, get that thing really fluffy. Remember, keep checking on, on your whipped cream. You want it to be get nice and thick and dense, but it'll take about a minute to get where you want it. Just pull your, your shun wrap back a little bit. You can take a quick peek. Right here. You know, this is pretty soft whipped cream. I mean, it's good. But we're looking for something a little bit more thicker than that. Just pick it back on high. Come on. See, now we got nice thick, thick cream. So at this point, when we get the nice thick whipped cream, you need to let it go for another minute. You want it super thick, super dense. And what people do right now is like, it's thick enough, you can drink the butter. No, you can't. You need to get really good. Really dense down. So at this point, there's not much more whipping you can do to it. It's really thick. Remember, the more you rush it now, the longer you have to play with it later. So it's that great saying, the more hurrier I go, the slower I get. So take that, put it over here. I'm a mixing blade.
Now, the reason I'm using a mixer, I mean, there's, there's lots of ways to make butter, but this is the quickest and easiest. Let the machine do the work so you can concentrate on the recipe and make it the best you can. Run it on low. What this is doing is going to whip it up. It's going to knock all the bubbles out. And it'll start condensing it down. Don't put it on too high because you don't want to stir it back into itself. You just want it to gently fold the whipped cream. In. And it will take about two minutes for it to, to you know, get down to what we're looking for. Now at this point, it's pushed all the whipped cream down. It's actually con conjoined it up into a big ball. You want to kick it to high. So you just hit it as hard as you can, knock all the rest of those air bubbles out, and you want to start actually pushing the, the fat solids together and pushing all the water out of it. All liquid, really. And that's the part where it starts getting messy. Now this is one of the things that about the time you're like, I don't know if this is working right, I don't know if it's actually going to go. It catches, the whole thing starts turning solid. Just, boop, you just watch it, listen to it, and before you know it, you're going to have lots of butter right in here. You can see at this point, uh -oh, I'm in a hole. At this point, it's really thick. It's like it's just about to come together. That's what you're looking for. You can also see there's a lot of liquid in the bottom. That's, a, that's what you're looking for right there. It's trying to pull itself together, but it's not quite there yet. So just let it run, let it do its thing, and everything will be okay. But remember, this plastic wrap here is your shield, so if you get a hole in it, you're going to make a mess. So, get a hole, just fix it up real quick. Hear that? Hold itself together. All that liquid's been thrown off. Woo. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's all you can do there. Fresh raise, you now have butter. Look at that. Chunky butter with lots of that water. Now we want to get all that water we can out of it. Remember, every step we take here reduces the next step. The, the greater you whip it, the quicker it pulls together. The more you squeeze all that out, the more solid and more better your butter is. There we go. Grab yourself a nice glass container, drop your butter in. The side wipe up real quick. Okay. Now the next step, we're going to clarify this butter. And the clarified butter, 
normally you put it in a pan, you heat it up, it melts, starts to give that nice toasted nutty smell. All the water that we just couldn't squeeze out evaporates up. All the solids sink to the bottom, float to the top, and we have nice clarified butter. But again, we have machines that can help us. So let's, let's nuke this thing. Get the job done as quick as possible so we can focus on the recipe and make it better. Now, the one thing you want to do is put a little thing over top of it because it's going to splatter and hiss and get messy. So let's grab that real quick. It doesn't need to be perfect, perfect. It just has to be something that sits on there and keeps all the splatters from going all over your beautiful, nice microwave. I say hit it for like 30 seconds at a time. You sit there, keep it going. Now this is going to take about two, three minutes for it to get hot, melted, and start getting all that liquid out. As you can see, it's already separating. Remember, we got the scum on the top. You can see there's scum already appearing on the bottom down here. It's getting nice and bubbly white. We got the beautiful milk, the beautiful butter in the middle. We want to keep that until it starts boiling, hissing, and cracking. Do it until it stops hissing and cracking. You need to watch it carefully. Because right now you can see the whole top is beginning to foam up. It starts getting all that liquid out. You don't want it to overflow, so you have to keep an eye on it. If it starts overflowing, stop it, let it cool down, and work its way through the system, and then hit it again. That's why I do it every 30 seconds or so, so I can watch it. Once it starts to boil up, stop it, then start it up again. See now, all the foam's coming to the top and all the solids are sinking to the bottom. It's almost there. Remember, you don't want to set the bowl like right, right on top of it. Set it off just a little bit. And this way the steam can come out. You can hear it now, it's popping and crackling and... So, like I said, you want to keep it going until all the, the popping and cracking and bubbling settles down a little bit and you get all that water out of there. You want it to cool down just enough so you can play with it. Now the big difference between clarified butter and brown butter is with the clarified butter you're trying to get all the fat solids out. Well with the brown butter you're trying to toast them and get them all nice and caramely goodness in there. Now with normal butter you make you can put it on your counter maybe a week before it starts going kind of funny bad keep it in your fridge for a month or so. Clarified butter you can keep in your cupboard or on your counter for almost six months and over a year in the fridge. So it's really good to have around. There it goes. So you want to give it a little stir. Pull up all the other skim that's coming to the top. No, stir is the wrong word. You want to skim the top a little bit. 
Get all that scum and ooh that's coming out off the top out of your way. Try not to stir it in. It's all the foam and icky. Then we just let it sit, let it cool, let it relax for a little bit. We can move on. So out of that great quart of milk, the, the quart of heavy cream we had, which is four cups, we got two cups of melted butter. So while that's cooling off, and now we know how much melted butter we have, about two cups. Now we know what recipe we, we need to do. So the recipe now is half butter is now sugar. Now I'm using brown sugar in this because I've tried honey, I've tried white sugar, I like the brown sugar. The brown sugar thickens the sauce up, makes it much better. Honey, it keeps it too runny. It's too soft. Now you take half of the brown sugar and you want your dehydrated milk. You're taking all the fat proteins out of here and we're adding them back kind of. Now we take half of the milk about and that's the cocoa you want to use. I like my little extra cocoa so I'm going to add a little extra but not too much. Then a little bit of your favorite vanilla. Now this recipe is really simple. It's fat. I'm using clarified butter because it lasts longer and it keeps nicer in my cupboard. Some people use coconut oil. I don't like it because the coconut oil separates. It just it comes out of it. It, it does not like to combine. And I've tried a lot of ways to try to get that coconut oil to combine with this, but it just won't do it. You know? So it's butter, clarified butter, coconut oil, something that, that turns semi-solid at room temperature. I know, which is not the good fats, but you know, you got you gotta use what you gotta use. Now this stuff is really nice. I like it because you put it in your coffee, it gives it that, that nice cocoa flavor. Gives you the sugar for, for energy. Then you got your caffeine in your coffee for long term energy. You got the fats for even longer term energy. So it wakes you up, gets you going, and keeps you going all day. Mix that in together. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see down here, it's all the fat solids right in there. This is the butter, and on the top I have a little bit of, of more stuff we've got to skim off. So let's get that going. Okay, there we go. There's all the, the fat solids in the bottom. A lot of people run that through like a coffee strainer or cheesecloth, just get the extra little bit out. I don't know. The chickens like it, I give it to them. Mix it together. Now some people like to put a little little spice of, you know, some chili powder or cayenne powder or something in there. Maybe some cinnamon. Little nutmeg. You know, it's yours, do what you want. But this stuff here is what I like in mine. You can keep it in your shelf for a long time, it won't spoil. Take it out camping with you. Just take a spoonful of it, put it in your coffee, you're good all day. So once you got that all nice, we mix together. Take a little jar.
Fill her up. Just store it in your cupboard. Here's two others I made. I've been eating it out of this one, but it's just it's nice little thick. Really good. Now here's one I made with coconut oil. You can see how all the coconut oil just came back to the top and you, just, you have to mix it in every time. It does not work. I don't like the coconut oil. Here's some just clarified butter. Keep that around because I love clarified butter. It's great in almost everything you want to use it in. Good coffee boost. Now the only problem I have with this coffee boost is if you let your coffee sit and get cold, which is a sin in itself, the oils float back to the top. So you get a nice cup of hot coffee, stir it in, drink it up, all good. Well, thank you again for watching my short video. And if you like it, give it a little thumbs up. And if you have any comments about what I've did or how I did anything, please leave them down below. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you really enjoy watching them. Thank you so much.